Tony Stark, homicidal twisted maniac. Hello everybody and welcome back to another World's Finest and welcome to the final issue of Armor Wars, Armor Wars issue number 5. Guys, there's going to be some heavy spoilers here if you haven't read the entire series of Armor Wars. I'd advise you pause this video, go read it, come back after you conclude it because man, oh man, oh man, there was some crazy S-H-I-T with a capital I, that happened in this series. Last uh, issue, we found out that it was Tony Stark who killed P Peter Urich, Kiri's parents, Peter's uncle, and freshly in that issue, Jim Rhodes, all to protect the secret that it was Tony's father that created the disease that now causes everybody in Technopolis to have to live in armor or else they'll die immediately the second they get out of their armor. And he's willing to do anything, and I mean anything, to keep that secret from the world, as including inhibitors in everybody's armor, because Tony Stark can control all the armors in the world. So he inhibits everybody from even thinking about how the disease happened, or even wondering if it was Howard Stark that caused it. And there's some really knockdown, throwout fights that go on in this book. We actually go back a little bit to see him talking with Arno about why... He, Arno needs to leave Kiri alone because he believes that Kiri's developing um, technology that could basically ruin everything that they built and basically show them to be the bad guys. There's some artwork. However, Tony Stark talks too much because he reveals his entire history, the entire history of his family, and what he was planning to do and why he killed everybody, and that he killed everybody and why he did it. And then it turns out Kiri and Lila created a virus of their own that basically nullifies everything that Tony Stark and Arno was doing. They get arrested, they get taken away. The reign of Baron Stark is over and Happy Hogan takes over as um, <clears throat> the marshal of the city. Um, what's her name? Pepper Stark kind of is just out of it. You got Kiri and Lila now. The Lila is the new Thor and Kiri is the new guardian over everything that happens in Technopolis. This is a really excellent conclusion. And, of course, Arno and Tony get taken away. And we all know where they're going. The Deadlands. This was a really good series. Really good mini-series. It's just really wow how you could really make Tony Stark a really dark SOB if you wanted to. And he is absolutely dark in this uh, mini-series. Definitely harkens back a little bit to... Superior Iron Man and this is a Tony Stark I don't like seeing but knowing this is a mini and knowing that there's like a billion other Tony Starks out there in Battle World I don't feel bad for what happened to this Tony Stark. He got what he deserved. There's some really twisted stuff that went on in Technopolis. Armor Wars was an excellent series. I would definitely recommend you guys go out and check out Armor Wars. It was a really good mini series out of Secret Wars. <clears throat> Do you have to read it to know what's going on in Secret Wars? Absolutely not. Secret Wars is its own thing. As a matter of fact, it's so much its own thing that it's going to be continuing all the way until December while the all new, all different Marvel will be in full swing and Secret Wars miniseries will be over. Secret Wars will still be going on in the background of Marvel. Only Marvel could pull this off. Or actually, that's a lie. DC could do that too, especially when it came to Forever Evil. So I guess only Marvel or DC could pull some stunt like this off. And with that, that's it for this review, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of Armor Wars in the comments below. And while you're down there, links to things on this channel, things on Frontline, things on Zone4Podcast.com. I would say Frontline Gaming Zone, but that is under construction and we'll be building up really soon. So until then, guys, we got to... We don't have that much left for this week, so I think there'll only be one more video going up after this, so we'll look forward to that. And the recap will be tomorrow night after uh, Frontline Live, which is 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be having a lot to talk about, and I've even started doing a little bit of a pre-show at the beginning. So if you guys are around you know, anywhere from 8 to 9, to 9 o'clock, you might catch a small, short pre-show leading into um, <clears throat> Frontline Live, so there's a little tidbit for you. But anyway, after Frontline Live, Mike and I set up for the recap, and the recap is up Wednesday morning, and we are set to go for the next week's books. So we got a lot to discuss with next week's books. Got a nice amount of books next week. So until then, guys, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next video.